So today, I want to have a conversation with you guys, and this topic has been on my mind quite a bit, not just recently, but through a long time. You've probably heard me talk bits and pieces through other videos here. So again, please hang out with me today and just listen to this topic right here. Set your phone down if you want. You don't got to watch it. Just listen to whatever. Kind of treat it like a podcast or whatever, maybe like a classic Technique Talks, right? But please stick with me through this. And what I want to talk about is audio in gaming, right? We're going to dive deep into that. Why are we going to dive deep into that? Well, honestly, I think audio in gaming is the most important peripheral or aspect within that game, right? Let, let's let's go on and start right there because you're thinking, yo, this guy just said the most important thing within my game? No, 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 no. I want a game at 4K, right? I want 240 hertz, right? You're thinking all this stuff here. And that's where I want to stop you first, I want, I want you to catch my drift, right? What's one topic we hear a lot within gaming, right? It's not about how good the game is, it's about how the game plays, right? You know, now, don't get me wrong, I love great graphics. I got 4K TVs, uh, my monitor's 1440p, right, a game on a 3080. Yeah, I love my games to look good, don't, don't get me wrong here, right? I always shoot for highest settings. But again, I play a lot of indie games, a lot of pixelated games. Nintendo Switch, you know what I mean? They got amazing games on there. But what pulls me into that game and what more than likely pulls you into that game as well is that sound, right? That environment, putting you into the game, right? And where I think this is so important is you, you can even think about it as like, a movie. Well, you go to a movie theater because they got a big screen and they got these great speakers and, you know, you think you're going to get into the movie. Gaming is even more important than that because you are the show, right? You're, you're running that game, whether it be a first-person shooter or a story game. You're controlling that movie. At a movie theater, you're just sitting there watching. It's going to do what it's going to do. You're controlling this space. You are this space. And a good audio setup headphones, headset, whatever, is going to put you more into that space, right? So, and a lot of you might be missing that, right? So, you're sitting at home, you're watching Netflix or something like that, right? Maybe even gaming, you got a console, you got your new PS5, your Series X or whatever, sitting there on your TV, and you're just playing the sound through those TV speakers, and you're thinking, well, I'm fine, because I got a 4K TV, I got the new PS5, I got the Series X, right? I got a 3080 or whatever. You're missing, I honestly think, 90% of the experience there, right? You really are. Because when you put that headset on and you get pulled into that environment, into that game, into that story, it's you're just connected with it, you know what I mean? So, again, kind of catching that jive right there. We're going to dive deeper in this. As you see, I got gaming headsets out here. I got high-end headphones out here, you know. In my channel, over here on the Techni, you all notice I cover, again, the majority of the products I cover are gaming headsets, and now we're diving a lot into headphones, IEMs or stuff. I mean, audio is my passion. I'm not an audiophile. I stated if since the beginning of this channel, I will never be an audiophile. I never want to be a snob or think I'm better than some other people in a class. I want to learn from you guys, hear your feedback, hear your thoughts and everything. And again, we can talk about it as a connected group rather than saying someone's better over here than this, the other. You know what I mean? But audio is my pet. I mean, heck, got a pair of headphones tattooed on me here. You know what I mean? I love audio. Other thing you notice on my channel, and some people have commented sometimes like, oh, well, this channel is too basic, I'm out of here, whatever, you know. I don't sit here and harp on numbers and specs. I'll talk about drivers and frequency range, sometimes show you some EQs, stuff like that, you know. But I don't sit here and talk about these graphs and, oh, it's peaking here and dropping there and doing this, you know. Why? Well, it's really going to depend on, again, what you're using. More importantly, what you're playing, right? So let's kind of talk about that there, what you're playing. You're playing a story game. You're going to think, okay, well, let me get something that's really full, crispy, and detailed. Odyssey Penrose here. Great for story games, right? <clears throat> well, what story are you playing? You playing Uncharted? Playing Call of Duty Campaign? Maybe you're playing Borderlands. You know what I mean? Me personally, when I'm playing Borderlands, 
I want something with a good solid hit and some backbone in it, right? The uh, Epos H6 Pro. All of these right here, by the way, why I have these four on a table is these have been on my desk for, I'd say, over six months. And that's for a product reviewer, that's rare, right? But I've been switching out and I use all of them and I dab with all of them for different occasions. Okay, we're going to talk about that and why I do that, right? But number one, going back to like talking Borderlands, I wouldn't use, I want I to say bad, like I wouldn't use, right? But it wouldn't be my preferred headset to go with the H6 Pros, the E-Post down here, when I'm playing something like Borderlands. I'd want to go something more to the odd easy or something with a little bit more punch, a little fuller of sound, you know what I mean? That's what I would want when the H6 Pro is detailed more towards the highs and stuff. So if I'm playing Call of Duty, yo, I love going to my Epos. I absolutely love it. Because, again, with score streaks and all this craziness going on, it's not going to overwhelm you. When that's honestly what I personally want in Borderlands, is I want that really full, impactful sound right there. So, again, it truly starts at what are you playing, right? Someone can give you these graphs, these numbers, these specs, and say this, that, or the other. But it's got to be broken down. And when I talk about it, you all notice when I talk about it in my videos, I break it down like story games, FPS games, racing games. Pretty much what I tested on, which I think are the three classes right there. And, and it's going to break it down like that. I mean, at the core of it, like we all know, it's personal preference. You may like something completely different than me. I'm not saying what I'm preaching here is like the way to go. I'm just saying the way I go about it, right? I don't think graphs and numbers really justify much. It's got to be that gamer experience. And that kind of brings me into the other area. I'm jumping around here a lot. I got a lot on my mind. You all know I don't script, right? So I'm just talking here. But one thing we, we see a lot in the gaming space is audiophiles talking about gaming headsets. 90% of the time they're trashing them, saying they're garbage, right? And then we're getting into those numbers and graphs and stuff like that. And I think that is a place that shouldn't be in gaming, right? I almost like, I honestly wouldn't want my music to be that way. And I love music. I am passionate about some music guys like that's number one and then game is down here like I love music but I'm not this type of person you know I got these high-end headphones I don't take my headphones and you know put them on and sit there and get lost in music I throw a vinyl on I got over here and then in my other room and I just blast it and I just get down to it and I feel it <laughs> shaking the windows and stuff you know what I mean that's how I get down to music I want it to be fun I want to feel it I want to get into it I don't want to sit here and pick it apart you know what I mean? I love going to live shows, right? You want to talk about it, you, you get you sit there pick it apart. You're gonna ruin the experience. You know you want that raw, gritty, kind of dirty experience. You know. So again, I don't think that space should even be talking about gaming. I don't think you should worry about that in gaming. Even though I have eight hundred dollar headphones out here, I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm not gonna bring you into that area right there. I'll talk about the differences, but I'm not saying, hey, this is the only way to go. Gaming headsets are trash. That's just that's a bad trend, and I think it's a shame that it's even out there. And it's you know, one person talks about it, then it just spreads down, and other people and they say it, and they don't even know why they're saying it. You know what I mean? It's it's. It makes me sick. It really does. Now, let's talk about that here. $800 headphones and gaming headsets. I'm kind of backtracking to where I was. So, if we're looking at here, I'm just going to pull them up here. Uh, what are those? Those are the Odyssey LCD, LCD 2s. These are $899. Yep. These are $799. The, what, what are these? The uh, Meze 109 Pros. Holy smokes, guys. These are awesome. If you got... $800 just sitting under the couch or something. Pick these up. These are all, just the build and the style is really cool. Okay. So whatever. Talking about those prices, right? So we got like 900. We got 800. Over here, we got 300. Over here, we got 180, I believe. 150, something like that. Does it really justify spending 900 or $800 for gaming audio? It depends on how you go uh how do i put this this is this is tough guys help me help me out in the comments is it worth it i would say if you're passionate about passionate about it it's worth it right it's like it's like a car right is it worth to lift your truck or put bigger tires on it or 
you know, yada, 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 whatever. Is it worth that? It depends on how passionate you are about the hobby. You're a casual gamer? Heck no. Right? Are you really into it? Do you do it every day? Do you want to dive deeper into it and pull games apart a little bit, you know? Then yeah. It's not saying these are bad. I love these and I honestly use these more than these. The simplicity, the features on them. I love having everything right there and it's just that easy to use, you know what I mean? It's great. But that's not saying these are bad. And that's not saying these are better. It's a different experience for each of them. All three, all four of these right here, I'll get a different experience from, you know what I mean? You go watch my standalone reviews and I talk about them all in there, you know? And that's what you get from audio and playing with audio. And hence the reason I have four headsets, headphones that stay by my desk right there where I can quickly grab them and change them out per game. I stayed in my mouse reviews, right? You should always have at least two mice on your desk. One quick flip, flicking and dipping smaller mouse and then a nice plump ergo mouse. If you're playing a story game or something like that, I mean, I use ergo all the time. But it's the same example right there. Two mice on your desk. Uh, you don't need four headsets or headphones on your desk, but I would say at least two, right? You got that one that's detailed more towards the highs. You got that one that's detailed more towards the base. And maybe if you got that one that's just like impactful and exciting out there. But if you limit yourself to one audio source for gaming, I think you're missing out on a lot. I, I really do. You're missing out on that experience. So definitely dabble with uh, multiples out there, you know? So, does it have to be two gaming headsets, two pairs of headphones? Do you need headphones, high-end headphones, audiophile headphones, Bayer Dynamics, Meze, AutoEasy, uh, Sennheiser, Audio-Technica, whatever it may be? Do you need those for gaming? No, you really don't. And it, again, it's it, that's the worst thing that I see in the gaming and audio space right now is that, you know, headphones is, are what you need. The fun thing about headphones is you can really have that core of what it is. This Meze, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna plug in my iFi stack and I'm gonna get that cool sound out of it. Then I'm gonna switch over my audio, so you're gonna get that. I can come over here to my Penrose and you can dabble with electronically and dabble with EQs. You hear people with the Nova Pros, they talk about sonar. I told you before, I hate that because that's even tweaking it even more. I stated from the beginning of this channel, 7.1, I don't like that because you're really just tweaking with stuff even more. You just don't, you don't have a good headphone at that point. You're pulling stuff out and tweaking it. I'm all about adjusting a quick EQ. I'm all about that. But again, at the core, out of the box, that core sound, that's what you have. And that's what you're going to be able to tweak and work with right there. You know what I mean? That's, that's where I go with, with these. With headphones, it's kind of, you got that and that's what you have. And that's what makes them fun because that's truly what you're pushing. You know what I mean? That's what makes headphones fun. Of course, you know, the, the build and the aesthetics is, is something really fun too. But again, I don't think you have to spend a thousand dollars to really get that great gaming experience. And I don't think you need that audiophile spice thrown into gaming audio. You know what I mean? You just really got to decipher what are you playing? What do you want to hear for this game, that game, and that game? And then make sure you have, again, I recommend you have two out there to really be able to pull that out in those games. But don't be stuck on numbers. You know, it's like, this is something that irks me a lot in the tech space right now. I know I'm jumping off track a little bit. Latency. You know, everyone's talking about latency. The latency of the mouse or the headset or this, that, or the other. You know, it's like, give me a stinking break with this dang latency, right? How many other things got to go into play with that, right? If you're talking headset, what keyboard and mouse? If you're talking mouse, well, keyboard and headset. Monitor, what's going on in your PC? What are you running there? What's running in the background? Most importantly, your internet. Is that going to cause a hiccup to delay the lobby of that game? There's so much stuff and everyone wants to harp on this latency of one thing. The latency of you, your body, the speed that you can react to something right? There's so many different things. Like this latency thing is just like, holy smokes, just stop already. It's ridiculous, you know? And again, that's kind of like where I talk about with audio. It's like these numbers and, right? These graphs and audio file and it's got to stop. Like it's, it's, it's not where you got to go with game and audio. Like game and audio is fun. Gaming is fun, right? Pull it out to what you want. Experience it how you want. Be part of that game. You know what I mean? 
I think gaming audio, again, like I stated in the beginning, is more important than movie audio, TV show audio, anything like that, right? Because you're just sitting there, you're sitting on your bed, sit back, relaxing, and you're watching that show. And that's it. A game, you are that game. You're within it. And the audio is going to pull you that deeper into it. Hopefully you're catching my jive right here, guys. That's really what I wanted to talk about. Again, tell you guys about, I think you all are quite aware that audio is my passion and how I go about my reviews. I don't spec fill them. I let my passion talk about them. I use them and then I come here and I just sit in front of the camera and talk like we're doing here. I got no script, no nothing. I got a blank screen up here right now. I just pulled up the prices of that, you know? So that's what I think is about audio and should show over graphs or these other things. It's got to be that passion. And what, what are you passionate about? And I think audio is going to pull that passion out of that game because we're all here because we're gamers, right? But again, when you get that audio into there, you're going to want to replay a lot of those games when you dabble into different audio, right? And try different headsets out. You're stuck on this one headset. Oh, it's what I used for years. Step out of that. Watch some videos, right? Think about what you're playing, what you want out of that. And you're going to want to replay a lot of those games. Talk about remaster with the graphics. No, no, no. Remaster with your sound, right? Because sound is number one when you're gaming. 